Hello everyone. Today I have a really rare air gun. This is a Gare. No model number, just the name. There's not much information available for these air guns on the internet, but the best I could figure out is that Gare was a store brand and not the actual manufacturer, something like Ted Williams that was sold by Sears but actually made by Crossman. The most likely manufacturer of the Gare was Maskinen and Apparatabaugh from Holstein, Germany. They produced the Vagria line of air guns from 1953 until around 1961 or so. The Gare is very similar to the Vagria Model 50 and in a minute I'll show both guns side by side and you can see some of the differences and similarities between the guns. Now Gare did not put a date stamp on their air guns so there's no way to tell if the variations are just due to production run differences over time or whether this was specced as a different rifle. And in fact this gear is not identical to the one in pictures on the vintage air gun form. The gear is a simple brake barrel rifle similar to many other models made in the 1950s and 1960s in Germany. It is very close in size and power to the contemporary Diana Model 25. This air gun is 177 caliber or 4.5 millimeter. The barrel is 16 and a quarter inches long and is smooth board. The overall length is 39 and three quarter inches and the weight is five pounds and six ounces. The length of pull is a full 14 inches so it was not strictly a youth air gun. The stock on the gear is very simple. Again, very similar to many other air guns of the 1950s and 1960s. The striping was added by a previous owner. It is not part of the wood grain. At least I didn't go crazy with it. The stamp model trigger is a very simple direct sear design. First stage takes one pound four ounces, then the shot breaks at two pounds eight ounces. It is very smooth and actually pretty good for an inexpensive air gun like this. The simple V-notch rear sight is adjustable for elevation only. For windage changes, you must drift the sight in its mount. The front side is a tapered blade. You do have to be careful cocking a gun or it will cut your finger. The end cap on the gear is this nicely machined piece and it's even threaded on. And the cocking arm is a solid bar instead of a sheet metal stamping. And the barrel has a step in the diameter at the muzzle. That was done purely for aesthetics. Okay, here's the gear and the Vagria Model 50 that I mentioned earlier. The gear is in the foreground and the Vagria is in the background. There are some minor detail differences between the rear sight, the trigger guard, and the end cap, and the stocks are obviously different. And with the two actions out of their stocks, we can see that they are very similar in construction. I have had both of these air guns apart and their internals are pretty much identical. And with the bulkier end cap removed, the gear's action even fits in the Vagria Model 50 stock and all the screw holes lined up. So while these two air guns are not identical, I'm convinced that they definitely came from the same manufacturer and share a lot of the same parts. Cocking the gear only takes about 16 pounds of force, and the other neat thing is that the barrel only breaks about 90 degrees. There is no safety or anti-bear trap mechanism, so you can decock the rifle if you need to. Performance of the gear is a little bit less than a Diana Model 25, a little bit more than the Model 23. Seven grain pellets gave around 530 feet per second for a little bit over four foot pounds. Not enough for hunting, but just perfect for backyard planking. And as you'd expect at this power level, the air gun is also very quiet. Number of pellets gave five shot groups under an inch at 10 meters. And as we'll see in a minute, a few did very well. I got the best accuracy with the RWS Super Hollow Points, the Air Arms 7.3 grain accuracy plus pellets, the JSB 8.4 grain exacts, and also a number of match wad cutter pellets. And the funny thing is the gear will even shoot tighter groups at 10 meters than some modern air guns with rifled barrels.
So let's wrap up our look at the Gare air gun. It's very pleasant to shoot. It's a perfect backyard plinking gun. It's also very easy to work on. If you need to replace the mainspring, there's any number of springs that would work. A Diana Model 25 rifle, the Diana Model 5 pistol, even a Viroc HW30 spring would work. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this rare old air gun. And see you next time.